Hi, everybody. Hello. 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 We're, we're live. Uh, welcome to session one of Intelligence Save. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> get ready. Roll for initiative, you fucks. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but I got a 21. Well, that That's sucks. A nine. Uh, yeah. Wait, did you say that sucks? Yeah, I did. I did say it. I mean, like, that sucks. You don't get to use it. Um, yeah, so this is our, obviously we played the Corruption Under Campbell Yard mini campaign, which was a whole lot of fun, so we wanted to dive in and, uh, and start an actual campaign, and we thought streaming it would be a, a good idea. Oh, thank you, Ghost Eater, for the, for the follow. That is much appreciated. Um. Hello, Kurt. It's one of my players. Oh, hi, Kurt. Hi, Kurt. Um, but yeah, so uh, this will be set in, in my homebrew world of Aosha, more specifically on the content, uh, continent of Drukamesh. I am Alec, or Commune. I will be your dungeon master for this evening. And uh, if we want to start introducing our players, we'll introduce characters when we dive in. Uh, but but Mr. Mr. Snap, if you'd like Hello. to... Uh, I am I Snap Plastic. I primarily do plastic model kits, but I guess I can classify myself my, as a variety streamer now. I do all the things. I paint, I build stuff, play D&D, video games. Uh, you can find me on Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, anywhere where social media presence can be felt. I will be there. You will be there. I had to test to make sure our thing was up. Okay. Awesome. And shop. Hello, I am Shop Goblin. I am also a variety streamer and TikToker, uh, as well as a member of the cast over at Adventures and Initiative, another D&D stream here. Um, and I do all sorts of stuff, from model kits, thanks to him, and uh, games and all sorts of stuff. Awesome. Ooh. All Ooh. right. And Stealthy. Hi, everybody. I'm Stealthy Stormy. Um, I am a member of the cast over at Department of Adventurers. And you can catch me uh, streaming on there uh, whenever I'm not doing D&D. &D. Uh, various video games. Currently, it's a very random playthrough of Skyrim. <laughs> and you can catch me on TikTok as well and Instagram, where I primarily D&D OC cosplay and miniature paint. So uh, lots of fun. Awesome. Um, yeah, we got, a, we got a couple announcements. Uh, first off, I did a wonderful shout out to... Uh, uh, Jinko Goblin in chat, a good friend of mine, uh, she did our wonderful new hype, scared, and sad emotes. So we wanted to show some love there. Um, yeah, and we have updated schedule. So Wednesday we do a, a, a world building Wednesday stream uh, where I sit down and kind of flesh out some worlds with you guys in chat. And we just kind of chill and, and have some fun. On Saturday mornings we do our Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. Uh, last episode went pretty good. We caught a Mew. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we only lost one Onyx. I was sad, but it is what it is. Um, and then, obviously, on Sunday nights now, 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern, we will be having Intelligence Save, uh, which is going to be a lot of fun. But without any further ado, what do you guys say we dive into this? Alrighty then. We, we don't have a choice, right? Like this is <coughs> happening. It, it's happening. You cannot stop. Okay. I all right he then. Didn't start I submit. The fire. Okay. Also, I got this great mug by uh, from a friend of mine, Kate. The year that the world rolled two net twenties. Hopefully, twenty twenty one is a little better. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Let's be clear. Twenty twenty was the year where you're like natural twenty. I'm sorry. That doesn't hit. <laughs> right, natural 20 I'm gonna is not enough. I'm going to point out the fact enough. that anybody who studied history knew last year was going to suck. Life because is for the cyclical, last man. six centuries, it has sucked. Life and there's been a cyclical. plague in almost every single one, too. That is also a good point. Uh, anyway, let's let's not dive on the dower. So, instead, let's, you know... <laughs> shrink down to a small cart just outside of the city. Exactly. So, <laughs> old Kess. the year is 1491, and we find ourselves outside, uh, we find ourselves amidst the outskirts of the Drukameshian capital city of Ulkes. 
Fall winds are beginning to sweep in from the west, where the biting cold of winter never ends. Ulkes is a fortress, with walls made of vast combinations of metals and deep-seated protection magic left by dwarven kings that forge these walls. A battalion of forge guard stand watch in their bronze-plated armor, creating an imposing opposition to anyone who would plan to breach these sacred walls. Drukumesh is working on leaving its isolationist past, or its isolationist ways in the past, but alas, old habits do indeed die hard. So, as we rein in on one small cart and our uh, group of newly newly joined together party, after a particularly long journey, you guys arrive at the heavily guarded gates of Ulkest in hope of finding a warm bed, some comforting drink, and more importantly, for answers. So, let us see what awaits them. Who is manning the cart at this point? I believe uh, Torch was driving last we uh, left yeah. off. Indeed. And Torch the taxi two of services. Us were in the back. Um, okay. <clears throat> unless you have something, I, I would definitely have a conversation that needs to be had between the siblings. Yeah, no. Uh, I, I would say, Torch, just give me a perception check, please. Of course. First roll of the campaign. First, first roll of the, the night. Campaign. This is going to go fine. This is going to be... <laughs> We're being pursued by the oh, backup. Oh, uh, I rolled a natural one. All right. With my, well. <laughs> with my modifier is plus five, so I rolled a six. Okay, well... Um, okay. Did I have inspiration by any chance? You did not. We do not have a bard. Did Wait, uh, uh, does my familiar flicker get an opportunity to roll perception? I will allow it, but with disadvantage. Okay, so he gets advantage. He, on... get, he gets. Oh, he so gets advantage. So it'd be a flat advantage. So it's straight. It's a, it's a straight roll, correct? Twenty-four. Fuck okay. yeah! So uh, you've been you've been manning the card for a little bit. You're a little tired. You kind of. You're looking, uh, the light from your own flaming head just kind of obscures your vision. And on your shoulder here, gates ahead, gates ahead, as your your flaming uh, raven companion kind of looks down to you. Oh, thank you, uh, Flicker. Um, back there, uh, we're approaching the gates. I don't suppose anyone has any visas, passports, traveling papers, things that would be necessary to gain entry to a city. Buffaly. And um, with that, Torch, would you like to describe your character? Uh, yes. Uh, Torch it is a Ifrit uh, Janasi. He is very red as if he is a perpetual sunburn. Mm -hmm. uh, his hair uh, is long and flowing and has the perception that it's on fire, um, with the exception of his facial hair, where he's rocking the evil Spock goatee and the very thin black eyelashes. And he is forever accompanied by his uh, familiar Flicker, a red raven, uh, who has a little bit of an identity crisis and tends to mimic that behavior of a parrot. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And uh, with Torch informing you guys of this message, we will head over to the two Stonebridge siblings inside the cart. If you guys would like to describe your characters. Elder you first, first. I just sat down. Elder ah, first. Dang it. All right, <laughs> fine. <laughs> <clears throat> um, so in the back of the cart is uh, the eldest of two siblings, uh, Addison Bianca Ryland Stonebridge, uh, with uh, you know, a, I guess what do we say, kind of a you light have a olive. Picture. I know, I know, I do have a picture. I'm trying to best describe. Because I'm also keeping my cat from getting in the trash can. <laughs> uh, cats, aren't they great? <laughs> we love it, we love it. Um, uh, so, the oldest of the two siblings has a uh, light olive skin tone with uh, green eyes and auburn colored hair. Uh, currently kind of tied up into somewhat of a man bun um, for pullback from the fighting. Uh, Addison, also known as Addie, uh, is um, 
non-binary slash gender fluid. Okay. Uh, so they refer to themselves as they, them for okay. most of the time. Uh, very, very protective of their little brother, Ash. All right, man. At a, a good segue, then. <laughs> we love a good segue. Uh, they are fun to ride. Uh, so Ash, Giles, Hugo, St- Asher, Giles, Hugo, Stunbridge, the fourth, Ash to his friends, yeah. is uh, a year younger than Addy. He also has those kind of bright green eyes and the olive skin of their family. He has... Uh, longer about shoulder length darker hair that he just wears tied back okay um and a goatee and mustache uh styled very very kind of to the noble noble style um his clothing wise he wears a long kind of duster great coat style thing with uh two kidney style holsters under it for his dual pistols Deal. And on one side has a double sword frog that holds his uh, long sword and short sword, okay. as well as uh, sitting in his lap currently, but normally on his head, is his leather tricorn. Uh, very kind of, think like Elizabethan French very uh, old highwayman money. Very style. Very old money. <laughs> yes. You're thinking noble nobility. I'm like, no, he styled himself after a French highwayman. <laughs> we love that. <laughs> the Jack Sparrow. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. So uh, you guys hear Torch as he um, informs you guys that you are running close to the city gates. Right. Uh, Addy. Uh, we have our papers. I made sure to pack them. But yes, I have mine. my concern is if that bastard uh, entered the falsified report, I may be wanted. Of course, I don't know if the guards here would give a shit about the monolith, since they're forge guard in the capital. It depends. I don't know what father might have done to try to figure out what's going on. What exactly is going on, by the way? Because you did ex- the thing I exactly told you not to do. I told you. Our Donnie killed a man, and now they were prepared to lay it on me as being the guilty party. For now, our papers ac- grant us access to pretty much anywhere we want to go. Yes. Any problems arise, I'll take care of it. On one note for you, though, I believe... Once we are in the city, as much as I hate to say this, because I know we both value these since Father gave them to us, we need to hide our rings. It is, I don't think it's safe for us to wear our family sigil in the open right now. Especially if our Donnie's hunting us. It's not like infields are exactly a (laughs) common Common thing. Not to mention they came after us just for the gold in the rings before. Yes. Would Torch have heard this? Uh, we pers- are actively I was going to say, if you, guys, if you guys are staying yeah. quiet, make two stealth checks. And then uh, make a perception check for you and Flicker. Uh, snap. Flicker got a natural 20 plus 5. Each of us then- make a stealth check or each of us make two stealth checks? No, so so Ash and Addy, you make your own respective stealth checks, and then Flicker and okay. Torch will make their perception yeah, checks. The, the way you worded it, I thought we were each rolling Sorry. two stealth checks. No, no. Uh, I got an 18, Flicker got 25. 25, okay. Uh, 14 for Ash. Okay. 26. So you hear uh, Ash's responses, but you do not hear what Addy says. We, we have paperwork to get into the city, Torch. Or no, right. would you? You hadn't told us Torch yet. We just know you're Shazo. No, he said he said his name was Torch. Did he? Okay. Yeah. We we have paperwork that may get us into the city, but there's no guarantees right now. Wonderful. And at that, Torch is going to pause the card. Now, speaking as someone who has had to uh, be on the lam for a bit, is there anything you would rather not be seen? Anything you want hidden? Anything you want kept safe? Uh. Asher is going to take his family ring 
Okay. And he is going to tuck it inside his coat uh, in a little pocket that holds his, like, tinker's kit. Sure, sure, sure. So it just blends in with all the other metal. Just a little side pocket. Okay. Let me be very clear. Is there anything that you don't want found if you are searched? Anyone getting close enough to search me is going to have an issue. Okay, okay. Trust uh, us, we are not exactly new to this. Fantastic! Okay. And I'll restart the cart and get us moving. With that, you guys do arrive in this uh, this caravan line of, of carts awaiting to get into the, uh, the city limits. Nightfall has kind of encroached over this region of Drukamesh. Uh, Torch, you do see a large, hulking warforged body, uh, splintered wood and, and eviscerated metal face uh, with big, heavy, plated, bronze-encrusted armor uh, with, some, with some dwarven and elven script etched onto uh, the, the detailings of it. This warforged walks up to you. Do you have business in Drukamesh, sir, in Ukes? Indeed I do. What is uh, your I'm business? A, I am currently escorting my fare into the city. Their business I choose not to know. I'm sure you understand. <clears throat> kind of nods, he looks. Do you have your transportation license? You don't have a fucking taxi license. <laughs> uh, uh, it, it's my cousin's. I'm borrowing it for him. From him. Make a deception check. <laughs> It's going and so can well. I give I'm just help holding it by just somebody. saying from the back, uh, we had our own wagon, but unfortunately our, our horse had broken a leg and had to be put down. He was kind enough to escort us into the city. I don't know if he's officially a sure. transporter normally. So so make make that deception check with advantage. Okay, so right now it's 15 plus 6, so 21. Okay. And then... Come on, higher. higher I'm, keeping, I'm keeping that 21. 21? Okay. okay. All right. Uh, the, the Warforged soldier kind of looks you up and down. What is your name? Uh, Torch. Torch. You see he pulls out a notepad and paper, begins to kind of etch down this information. And your passengers' names. Didn't ask. <laughs> a, uh, I'm going to pull out our papers of, of nobility and hand Addison theirs and then we will both present them to the uh... yeah okay you see he uh, the Warforged takes it they they look at the the papers one moment I will need to clear this with the gate folds the papers up kind of puts it in his uh, a strap on his breastplate and walks off as he walks away in very hushed tone, I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't know if you wanted me to introduce you as you, or if you wanted to keep a low no, profile. No, you're good. Okay, we're using uh, our real names then. Okay, not our superhero only, names, got only it. Only here. <laughs> I think our real names will get us into the city more easily. But once we're in, only Ash and Addy. Do not say our last names. I should probably look in getting that taxi license. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a good idea. I could make one. I thought this was like an Uber Lyft situation. Even they have to have a license. Addy and Asher make a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, before this happens, uh, I, I pat Asher on the cheek and I'm like, so remember how you almost died last time? Do better. <laughs> and I'm going to give him a uh, vigilant blessing. Okay. What does that do? Uh, you give one creature you touch advantage in the next initiative roll the creature makes. The benefit ends immediately after the roll, or use this feature okay. again. <laughs> it, it was Addy who, who almost died. <laughs> uh, yeah, Addy got down to death saving throws. I'm the one that had yes. a healing potion that Addy um, wouldn't take, so I downed it. <laughs> and how many hit points were you at when you downed that? Uh, two. <laughs> so was my statement untrue? <laughs> no, complete. <laughs> how many hit well. points were you at? At the I end of that? I was at one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah, our session zero went wrong. Um, <laughs> Thank God, thank God for uh, having proficiency, because that puts my perception at a seven. Okay. Since I have a plus uh, five. You're, you're <laughs> kind of distracted, Asher, with 
kind of the conversation and the thoughts of the Forge Guard having your uh, your information. Um, Addy, you do notice a small pair of hands begin to kind of push into the cart behind uh, where you and your brother are sitting. Of course, you notice the sneak thief. <laughs> Uh, you notice it's it's someone trying to climb into the cart. Addy, Addy reaches over and kind of grabs the wrist of whoever's there. Uh, you yes. hear a, a, a very high-pitched kind of gasp. And then you hear, um, Please, I just want to get into the city. Please, don't hurt me. I just, I wasn't going to steal anything. I just want, I just wanted to away. I saw that you had papers. Please. Insight check. Go ahead. Asher is going to move back and pull back the uh, the cloth to see who this is. Uh, okay. You see uh, you see a young dragonborn girl. She looks in, in, like she is maybe 10 to 12. Uh, she's copper skinned. Um, she's wearing uh, a very beautiful dress. Uh, it looks to have been torn in a couple places. It looks like she's been in the wilds for a little bit. Um, she looks panicked. She looks hungry. She looks scared. Uh, is, is this um, is this more of like just like a day to day common person's dress, or is it a nicer dress like what a noble of low? Give me rank might give wear? me an investigation check. I got a 17. 17? For my insight. Seems to be telling the truth. Okay, fuck that dice. <laughs> she just yeeted across the fucking door, the room? Jesus Christ. I tossed it onto my bed. You win. And, uh, Get out that, of here. You've seen me do it before. I know, I just love it. Because <laughs> that's a four. I have a plus one. It has now rolled a two, and it has rolled it, a three. It gets fucking over. It, look, it looks nice, but it doesn't look like anything you'd really have in the castle. Uh, okay. Addy makes their own investigation check. <laughs> okay. It's actually threaded with gold and has jewels, but he didn't notice it because of the mud. Ah, uh, look, Ash is a big dumb idiot. He didn't see the encrusted emeralds I mean, in it. I mean, he does only have, like, a plus one on intelligence. He's wiser, not smarter. Uh, no. s side note, I feel like that's a channel point opportunity. Enough channel points, we have to yeet our current d20. <laughs> oh. oh, I roll metal uh, dice. Can we do that two versions dangerous. of that? No, no, no. Can we do two versions of that? One for the DM has to yeet okay. dice. One for players have to yeet dice. Yeah. That's an oh, 18. Yeah. 18. Uh, this is a very nice dress. It's it's not noble nice, but it's um it's probably a family that owns a, a very humble business. Uh, so it looks like... You know, she has been well to do. But there, there are no insignias, no jewelry, no uh, emblazements that, that kind of read to any noble family that you're aware of. Uh, and he turns, looks at Asher and goes, I see no problem. And I, uh, someone this young, I don't believe it would be safe to leave her outside the walls. Come on, little one. And Asher's going to offer his hand. Okay. Yeah, she kind of grabs her hand, pulls herself into the cart. Uh, and you see she's cr taking a handkerchief and uh, wiping away tears uh, from her face. Thank you. Thank you yeah. very much. Um, just like in that back corner of the cart, try and get her, like, not covered up, but just, like, cozied in so she's less yeah. visible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I I'm sure, Torch, you, you have some sort of, like, blanket or... Something for yeah, smuggling compartments, there. right? <laughs> this so, is the Millennium Falcon of this world. You shove her into a locker into the back of the ta or the the wagon. <laughs> this red cabinet opens up, and when you open it, there's hatchets hanging in the back, and she just kind of climbs. She's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, the killer won't find you here. Oh my god! Uh, so, with that, we will hop back over to Torch. Torch, you see a group of about. Um, Six Forge Guard approach you. Uh, you see five Warforged, including the one that you had talked to before. And you see uh, one tall, muscular Goliath woman uh, in, in full bronze plate. What was that eyebrow twin? You're like, buff lady? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
We don't have a bard in this party. We just we, have we've all seen the demon from uh, Monster Camp. We all know everyone's interest. Oh, crush me. <laughs> you shut up. Oh my god. Uh, uh, so, and this, this Goliath walks up to you. Hello. Um, is this your cart? Indeed it is. You are Torch? Indeed I am. And you are? Kaja. Kaja Vale. Kaja, it's a pleasure to meet you. What can I do for you this evening? <sighs> the... Your passengers. They are... Not wanted, per se, but they are people of interest. Oh. And we are not confident that they should be allowed in the city. How long have you been on the road with them? Oh, just half a day. Uh, like we said, uh, I was on my way to the city to meet some friends of the family, and uh, I came across these folk. Their horse had unfortunately slipped, broken its leg, poor thing. We had to put it down. Rather, rather traumatizing. <laughs> Make a deception but, uh, check. It's not a lie. <laughs> it's not a lie. He, he is not. He so... watched the horse die. Oh, Forty-five. He, he is not going to visit family in the city. Thank you. We got to hydrate from uh, Miss Game Raider Girl. Uh, oh, thank, hey, thank you very much. Hey. The podcast of this is going to be very confusing. It's going to be great. Um, so Kaja looks at you. Uh, she heavily tattooed on the face, the kind of uh, slate gray skin that you're used to seeing with um, with Goliath, and a, and a heavy set uh, dread dreaded hairstyle braided down. Have they talked about any sort of crime that may have been committed in the city of Angle Court? Angle who? Angle Court. Uh, no. If I'm being completely honest, I find them rather irritating and weird. I tend to just put them in the back and not talk to them. He gives, <clears throat> she gives you the papers back. If anything in the city happens pertaining to them, you will also be held responsible, understood? Oh, I see. Oh, you know, we all have our own burdens that we have to bear. I suppose they are mine. Good, Mr. Torchworld. Pleasure. Um, the inns inside the city are closed and the gates are shut for the night, but we can put you into a tavern uh, outside of the city limits in the uh, the Ukes Traders outpost. It's uh, about a mile north, but you'll find room and board there. Well, I'm very appreciative. Thank you so very much. You are welcome gives you the papers um, and kind of directs you out of the line. Uh, and you can see off in the distance there is a, uh, a large kind of complex ta uh, tavern off in the distance, kind of up this sort of natural hill. Is it like an outpost building or is it like the shanty town that people have built up who can't get inside the city? So the, uh, the Ulkest, make a history check actually. Let's do that. Of course, I'm the one that fucking knows this, but... Natural 20. Natural 20. <laughs> of course I know. Uh, that's a 23 total. All right. So, with a natural 20... Uh, you're a good dice. You're, you're a good... I don't have to eat you. So, with the with the natural 20, you know that the Ulkes Trader is where people from all over the continent of Drukamesh, including outside continents like Tolesh, Ibari... Um, come in to trade. Uh, so there is an array of nice... Uh, there's a, a large tavern in the center where, where kind of magnates from different places come and stay. Uh, there's a big trading post with uh, long-lost magical items, different kind of relics and things of that sort. Uh, a lot, Kind of a, a very nice swap meet. So you are, you're familiar, uh, familiar with it. You've been there once or twice. I found some really nice custom bronze with rifling there once. Yeah, I, I love <laughs> used my I got it my barrels from there. All right, I know a guy. All right, so 
You guys... There's just a barrel. That is, I'm asking you to make that canon now. There's just it a is, guy who yeah. goes like to city to city selling barrels to gunsmiths. I, I mean, it is now. I mean, that's, just, <laughs> that's just reality. All right, so Torch, you're leading the carts off to the um, to the uh, the tavern. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. You hear this kind of snap in the back of your head. And this this pain begins to kind of ring through your ears. And you hear the voice of your father. Ah, 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 Hi, Dad. You understand what is important, yes? Of course I understand what's important. I understand that I need to find mother. Good. Then you under... <coughs> Papa? And after a couple seconds, the message in your head fades. Shazos the former. <laughs> Um, and you see as that fades you see Flicker's light almost goes a bit sporadic the flames begin to fade but Flicker comes back and is fine the fuck was that Flicker Flicker looks I've never seen that before in my life What did you... What did you see? What happened? I... I I feel... It's almost as if the presence of your father is gone. But that doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. He can't be gone. He's immortal. Immortal, yes, but immortality can be stunted. It can be locked off from the world. We'll have to look into this. Ah! And as you look, you see Flicker has this open black hole in their chest. It's, well, that, it's, that's not good. Uh, it's small, and you can see the flame that kind of builds up Flicker's body is, is wrapping around it, but it's, it's not going away. That looks like it hurts. Are you okay? <sighs> Well, it doesn't tickle. I've never felt anything like this before. I... We'll have to speak to those magic fucking librarians when we get into town. More questions, not enough answers. Definitely not how I wanted to start the journey out. Agreed. Agreed. If I dismiss you, do you think it'll hurt less? I'm not sure, but that's up to you. Take a breather. You release um, Flicker. The the form kind of uh, turns into ash into the night sky as you come up the hill and you see uh, the tavern. Lights are on. It's loud. It's bustling. Uh, People are kind of walking in and out. You see a couple people sitting outside talking, kind of... Uh, exchanging drinks, uh, smoking their their <clears throat> tobacco pipes. Um, it's a uh, it's a bit of fun. So you roll up and you see a place. I'll put it over the map. Two guys on roll twenty. Ooh, ooh, la la. ooh. So this this large vineyard. Oh wow. Yeah, it's nice. It's very nice. Homeboy. Um. So you guys are pulling in about here. You guys are pulling in about there. Okay. So, um, oh, actually, let me. So, you walk up and you do see um, a an elven man kind of walk up. Ah, oh, you're arriving quite late. Hello there, darling. How can I help you? 
Oh, well, me and my compatriots could definitely uh, use some liquor. And ah, probably a bed. Liquor, that we can do. Yeah. City gates are closed, unfortunately. Yeah, so they sent us here. Closed about an hour ago, but, you know, you're here in time. My name is Sigurd. Sigurd? Sigurd. Yep, S-I-G-G-U-R-D. Sigurd Westways. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, it looks to be a... Um, Looks to be a high elf, uh, black hair, bright green eyes, long ears, uh, <coughs> wearing a very nice kind of uh, a tunic with a uh, kind of frock coat above it, different um, adornments on it. It's got glasses. Okay, well, um, will that just be rooms for the three of you? There's four of us, but uh, two can share. Oh, don't know if you would mind sharing a room with me, Torch. It might save us some money. Oh, not at all. Uh, yeah, so... If Two four. rooms. Four. Two rooms. Okay, he pulls out a little pocketbook and just... Two rooms. We have you room... Keep an eye on the girl, Addison. Certainly. We have rooms available for... Right next to each other, so that is good. Uh, all together, ten gold for, for each. All right. Uh, I will pull out ten gold a room, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll pay... Abby pulls out ten. Okay. Yeah, and I'll pay ten. Oh. Also, uh, the map is not on the stream. Oh, yep, I know. I know. I'm working on it. Okay. Um, it's an illusion. Questions. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Pay it's no fine. attention to the man behind the curtain. Pay no attention to the man in the top right corner. Left corner. <laughs> Who? What man? Me? Your images. I like your video better than your... Zoom profile picture. My Zoom profile <laughs> pictures are really good. <laughs> um, okay. And we'll leave it a mystery. We'll leave it a mystery as to what that, my... No, no, Zoom you reveal profile. that image. You reveal that image when you hit 500 subs on Twitch. Exactly. I was going to say. That, that, oh, man, I've even exited the app and restarted, and the stream just stuck for me. Oh, no. That is not good, Lacey. I wonder why that oh. is. Okay. As a reminder to our viewers, tonight's stream is rated M for Mature. This yeah, stream may contain th there's, adult... There, there is a warning on the screen. I know, but it's, but it, you know, it's nice to just say it, you know? It, it's my placeholder for when I'm... Stuff, something had to break, and I, need to, and I don't have sponsors, so I just make shit up. I was going to say, <laughs> we, we have no sponsors. Tonight's stream is sponsored in part by viewers like you. Without you, this stream could not happen. Thank you for your support. Thank you for what is this? PBS? <laughs> CNN? PBS? It's D and D. It's D and D. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, everybody takes one d ten psychic damage for that. Oh, hey. Yeah, hey, you've made worse jokes than that. This is true. Though, while you're futzing with the map, I will gladly tell. A story of a dad joke guy being out dad joked by a man of the cloth. If anybody wants to hear it. Oh God. Oh, oh God. God. All right. Guys, uh, for friend. That. No, no, no. A guy's <laughs> friend's car broke down at uh, this Franciscan uh, monastery outside of town. So he drove out there to find them and you know give them a ride home. And he gets there and he's walking around trying to find his friend and he sees this man in you know the brown monk's robes with a white toe. Uh, tow rope or whatever tied around his waist standing next to this big boiling pot of oil cutting up potatoes and tossing them in and he walks up to him and goes oh are, are you the uh the french fryer and the man straight face turns around and goes no i'm the chipmunk <laughs> <laughs> formally tendering my resignation to this campaign my guys, oh. lame tiktok because that is like campaign peak dad campaign, vibes. campaign's over Continent destroyed. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> he hit the end of the stream. <laughs> oh, oh man. cut that out of the podcast. <laughs> oh god. Okay, we had. I had to do it for the for the meme. Oh. All right, we're back. So this is the the layout of the uh, the tavern that you guys see in front of you. Um. So 
Yeah, you guys, your cart is, whoops, there we go. Uh, your cart is landing about here. About there. Yeah. And so this is stables? This is stables. So that's where your cart would go. Um, and then the front entrance is over here. Um, yeah, Asher would just kind of hop out of the cart. Uh, Sigurd, where should we put the cart, or is there somebody to do that? Uh, we redeem, we got a stretch redeemed by one lovely certifiable nerd. Thank you, Lacey. Lacey, thank you. Ooh, Bye. Oh. All right. Um, yes, you can, you can put the cart right in the, um, in the stables if you like, and then go through the front door over there. You will hit the tavern where you guys can drink till drunk uh since you paid for premium rooms you will be able to drink your share without paying any extra money i mean obviously none for the child um oh, so yeah. good. what what is your position here are you the owner or just an employee uh i a co-owner you could say uh, my my sister owns the other part of the share here ah hmm. wonderful and her name Yes, my lovely sister's name. Marguerite. Marguerite Westways? Yes. How do you spell? Uh, so, M-A-R-G-A-R-I-T-T-E. Marguerite. Okay. And it's the Ulkes Outpost? Yeah, so Ulkes Trader's Tavern is is basically just what this is. Um, yeah, so is there, is there anything else that you will be needing? Not at the moment. Thank you very much. Good. Uh, well, uh, see yourselves in. We will accompany you with any liquor, food, or libations you could possibly need. <clears throat> well, shall we? I will we? stow the cart and question about if I've picked up a couple kidnappers because now there's a kid. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You weren't paying oh, yeah. attention for that, were you? <laughs> I was being interrogated by the city guard. My bad. So, yeah, Torch, Actually, you... Actually, they're you, the military. <laughs> they are the military. Uh, so you walk out to... <laughs> Authority figure, whatever. <laughs> you, you walk out to see Addie holding hands with a, with a young dragonborn girl. Just, she's, she's just kind of like looking at you all and just thank, thank you. Thank you again for... Helping me, I just, I need to get to, into the city. What is your name, child? She kind of, she's looking around. It's, it's, it's almost as if she's looking for uh, people who are listening. My name is Idra. Idra Wellis. My, my father works in the city. I have been with my my mother but um some something happened and i just need to find my father where is your mother Idra? uh you see she kind of her feet kind of curl into one another her head kind of sinks below her shoulders and uh you can see her kind of huffing for breath as she <clears throat> She begins to cry. Oh, that, that's, okay. that's my. Okay. We we were robbed. Um, we were riding to the city, and this woman and a band of thieves come and did our cart. And it killed her. I managed to run away, but... Don't worry, dear. I left her. I left my mother. No. Your mother would have wanted you safe. Don't worry. We'll protect you. We'll find your father. Thank Addie's you. Addie's very good at finding people. I'm Ash. That's Torch. Idra. Come nice, on. Nice to meet you. Let's go get you some food. Come on. Thank you. She just... And, uh, I will say that whole time he is like knelt down to her height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
So with that, you guys... Torch is feeling away after hearing that story about the mother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, we tried to make characters like the DM with, like, happy our families. I yeah. tried to make characters with happy families, happy families, and he still got us. <laughs> yeah. If it's not your family, it's others. <laughs> so, as you, as you we guys... We tried not to be edgy. So, as you guys enter the tavern, uh, you hear... Uh, 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 big kind of hubbub, Boblin. Oh, thank you for the follow, Boblin. Love you. Thank you for uh, and thank you for helping Lacey with the uh, with getting her stream going. We appreciate that. Yeah. Um, you hop into the tavern to an abundance of people drinking, kind of uh, a big sense of merriment. Uh, where you see uh, you see a dwarf and a Durgar behind. Oh, hello, welcome in crew. We want to do a nice little shout out. How are we? Hey. I don't. Hi. We love you. Thank you for the follow. I don't know. Hey. Well, we appreciate that. Uh, Hi, if Josh. You, if you or guys, Sean. I think it's probably Josh. It's probably Josh. Um, so, if you guys want to watch some truly incredible Dungeons and Dragons content, please, please, please go check out the Welcome In. They, I, if you have not heard of them, that is that is a problem that you need to go fix. They have wonderful weekly campaigns uh, uh, off the rails on Fridays and Conundrum Company on Saturdays. They do a lot of really fun stuff. I am there a bit, and it's a wonderful time. Just delightful friends of all four of us. Yes, yes. they're lo lovely folk. So you enter the tavern uh, to see a Durgar and a dwarf kind of manning the bar here. A lot of people are uh, coming up, swapping out drinks and kind of grabbing their food, kind of... Uh, you see, it's a bunch of kind of wayward travelers, very similar to yourself. Um, so, any open tables? You do see uh, you do see a couple. Uh, it is pretty busy, so uh, you see this kind of side table is open, and you see <coughs> one of these tables in the back here are open. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'd probably aim us at that table. Unless Addison or Torch wants to direct elsewhere. Okay. Yeah, I was. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> we Going can see with the, the entrance. We're against a wall. There's a bathroom. Room. Good deal. <laughs> good deal. Okay, so uh, you go up to the to the bar and you see the Duragar uh, bartender look at you. Uh, they have a shaved down head. Uh, kind of deep lavender skin with bright kind of, uh, not as much red as they are kind of fuchsia, kind of bright pinkish eyes. They look at you. Um, hello, welcome in. Um, how, how can I help you? What do you need? Uh, what is your strongest brew? Oh shit. Okay, it's one of those days. I see. <coughs> All right, strongest. Um, strongest, strongest, strongest. Ah, yes, right here. Black Ooze Surprise. Is Fantastic. That, uh, is that what you uh, like? I will take three of those and whatever the other people want. Is, uh, <laughs> uh, do you have warm food going at the moment? Uh, no, but we can we can get something going if you like. Uh, something for, for her. Oh, for her. hi there, little one. And you see Idris just kind of... Hello. Um... Yes. Do you, do you, have you had hot chocolate before? Uh, you see, she kind of just like hot chocolate. Is chocolate native to this world? Uh, chocolate exists. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm a noble. <laughs> what Hi. is what is Hi. chocolate? Hi, nobles. <laughs> <laughs> so as as you say, you know, uh, have you heard of hot chocolate? Idris goes, No, I have not. But in the background of the tavern, you just hear chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate! Great grandmother? What? <laughs> what? I love... Addison and Asher just start like, huh? huh? Oh god. I love Not chocolate. again! <laughs> I love me some Addie's chocolate. Addie's just like, I need to hide. Just, oh god. Um, um, uh, no, but it sounds delicious. Uh, a hot chocolate for her as well, if you if you have that available. I don't know. It's The, the Durgar, she looks at you. Um... Of course I can get that done. Um, Thank you. My name is Athen. Um, we have food from dinner earlier. We should be able to get done. Uh, reheated for the girl. 
Perfect. So, uh, mm. hands you your drink. Uh, when you drink that torch, give me a constitution saving throw. And then, uh, did you guys, did Addy or Ash order any drinks? No, just just food for, for Idris. Okay. And... Yeah. <laughs> I got a dirty 20, and then a 10. Addy will drink an ale, but nothing stronger than that. Okay. And so then a 6. Asher is not drinking. Okay. Got he, it? He, uh, he'll also order, like, a bowl of food for himself. Got it. Okay, so uh, you take the shot, torch, and uh, you feel as... The, the shot glass is put in front of you, and it's almost as if it's this kind of black, tarry substance. It's kind of flowing while sitting in the still glass, and when you go to pour it back, it doesn't pour like a liquid. It's almost <clears> like a... <throat> You remember the ship it's captain the from the mini campaign? <laughs> <laughs> and this is, is it this bad all, again? It is. Uh, <laughs> oh God. And this almost jello like Black substance <laughs> slides into the back of your throat. Um it burns all the way down, but you manage to take it and no, nothing adverse happens, but you are drunker than you've ever been in your entire life. I took three of them, right? You took three of them? Yeah. He ordered three. Yeah, he ordered three. <laughs> uh, so you're feeling drunker than you've ever been after one. Are you really going to drink the other two? Well, if I'm feeling drunker than I've ever been, do I have the fortitude and peace of mind to not take the other two? That no, is no, completely no. Better question. You. Can you even lift the shot glass <laughs> without it, like, slopping so, off? So give me, give my... me a strength check for this to, to lift the second glass. Okay. Oh, just to check? Yeah. We're sitting with a small child and torches just fucking zonked on the table. <laughs> That's a dirty 20. You you managed to get it to your mouth. Make a constitution save, because that smell is not pretty. Alright. Oh, uh, 23. What? You throw that Fermented one back. Fermented black ooze. Now I need you to make a wisdom save. At All least right. we're next to the bathroom. Uh, that's a 9. <laughs> your eyes go crossed, um, and you're just kind of swaying on the chair. In order to get the other one, I need you to make a strength check at disadvantage. All right. Are we just sitting here watching this? You guys, yeah. Id Idra <laughs> is just like, Four. Is, is he okay? No. Uh, no. So not. you got a four? He's regret this I got a four. Morning. So as you go to sweep your arm across the bar, you just slap the black ooze cup and it hits the ground and melts into the floor. Why do I feel like the oh, little no. puddle of ooze as it's melting into the floor starts inching away? <laughs> Come it's back. still alive! It looks almost no. as if the black ooze is digging into the floor, like oh. trying to escape. I don't want to die like Tommy and Timmy. I hate it here! <laughs> Ooh, come back! I want you in my body! <laughs> I'm clipping that. No, I want you in my body! Oh, bad! <laughs> so, we're all bad people. All right, and <laughs> as as Torch is just kind of swaying at the table, um, your bartender comes and drops off the the food and the drinks for you guys. Uh, Athen kind of looks. Is there anything else I can get for you all? <laughs> Nothing at the moment, I don't think. Uh, Addy, make a perception check. Certainly. Uh... Eighteen. Eighteen. <clears throat> um... You notice somebody as you're as you're speaking to Athen. Um, you notice a man. He is sitting over at this <clears throat> far end uh, bar table. Um, so we'll put you guys. We'll put your tokens down. Shoop de boop. Shoop de boop de boop. Because uh, I forgot to assign these. Because I'm a bad dungeon master. Uh, 
I right? Fuck. Hey guys, campaign's over. You know what I mean? We just we kind of <laughs> just watched the cliff. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that is short enough, Alec. You can definitely download it and post it to uh, TikTok. By the way, I'm going to. Um, I want that to be on a stream deck as an audio source. <laughs> Uh, you can also uh, download it and pull the audio. So you see a drow man that uh, you recognize to be in the serpent's or in the viper's hand, mm. sitting across, and kind of eyeing you over, with a smile on his face. <clears throat> Thank you, Army Dad, for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome into the chaos. <laughs> Asher, Asher, I gotta tell you something. You got a really pretty name. So, so stony and bridgy and there's so many of them. So many names. Why do I feel like to him that's what he said, but to me all I hear is, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Yeah, so, so <laughs> Torch feels like he's speaking English or common, but you guys hear him <laughs> speaking <laughs> elemental. Is so, am I speaking primordial? <laughs> Yes, actually. You're, so wait, at, wait. You just no, I don't speak primordial. You just see flames kind of coming out of his mouth as he's trying to talk. He's just like, torch, torch. Idris just like, oh my god. It's like it's like the one language that Addy doesn't know. <laughs> we didn't start the fire. <laughs> it was always burning since the world was started. I mean, it is the it's been uh, at least for one of your family put out now. <laughs> oof! Oof! <laughs> oof! <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Eddie, by stone. so you guys are sitting there eating. Idra is kind of sticking close to you, Asher. <clears throat> Addy, you notice this individual. Torch, um, you're just vibing, dude. <laughs> you're just living like your best it. life. <laughs> Torch is just vibing, man. I'm remembering college being a sober <laughs> friend around all the drunks. It ain't good. I, that was me no. too. I get to live vicariously through my character as the drunk, stupid one. Oh, Why do God. you think all my characters are alcoholics? Because <laughs> I won't do it in real life, so I might as well do it in oh my DnD. God. Oh my Jesus God. Christ! Um. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to therapy, aka D and D. Welcome to Dungeons and Discussions, a segment where we talk about why am I sad? actually that would be a good podcast title. That would Amen. Be an podcast. But that anyway, um, Addy is gonna look at Asher and um, uh, and kind of mutter and halfling. I'm gonna go see a friend. All right, be safe. Uh, also in Halfling. Okay. Uh, and get up, and Addy is going to go have a seat next to this drow. So, you sit down, and you know this man, uh, you know this man to be uh, Vosk. Vosk Corvin. Well, Addy... Pleasure to see you. It's been a little bit since you decided to up and run from Ango Court. That's, vague. That's a bit of vacation, actually. Mm. Interesting. How are things? They've been interesting. <laughs> interesting to say the least. You know Ardani's looking for you, right? No. Hmm. Good. Well, I I wanted to come here and offer a warning. You had good friends. Had being an important word. You see, he's his hand is hovering over a uh, bag that he has sitting next to him. Do you want to see what I brought you? Dying to. <clears throat> Someone did. Um, DM? <laughs> yeah? Just because he would be. Mm -hmm. uh, can I have an attack readied? Because he's, uh, he's literally, he is staring at this guy that Addy is sitting next to. Yeah, him. well, yeah, if you want to, is there anything specific, like, if anything happens, what do you want to shoot upon? 
Um, if he makes an aggressive move towards okay. Abby, like visibly attacks her, yeah, I'm gonna shoot him. Got it. Uh, mm. And just know, if you do make an attack, any attack will be a disadvantage because there is a room full of people. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Um, I'm just like he, he's yeah, staring no. down, and his hand is like in his coat, just hovering on his gun. Hundred percent. Nope. Totally fine. Um. So, Addy, Bosk looks at you, pulls the compartment of the bag open. Uh, you see a blonde-haired elven head of a woman named Calliope that you uh, were very close with. <sighs> she did not want to tell me where you were. <laughs> it was. It took. It took a lot to get her to say. Even a little bit, I I must say, you really should be proud of your friend. She uh she kept that mouth nice and quiet up until well I killed her and then made her tell me where you were. It's uh it's about it. You can't run from us. You understand that, right? The Viper's hand is always gonna find you. Ardani is going to find you. Shit, she already knows where you are. This is a game that you're always meant to lose. You and your fucking coward brother over there. <laughs> At this point, Addie's just been sitting kind of relaxed. Yeah. And then upon seeing her friend, their friend, there's, sit, sits up, leans forward and goes, I'm sorry. You assume that I've been playing a game. As far as I'm concerned, this is war. <laughs> the two Stonebridge siblings at war with the Viper's hand? Now that, that is a side I would like, I would surely like to fucking see. <laughs> we'll see how well you guys fare in this, uh, this war, as you so put it. I came as a neutral party. Wanted to talk to you myself. The girl didn't want to talk. I did what I had to do. With that said, Ardani's coming. And she's coming fast. I can tell you when she's going to be here, but I need you to do a couple favors first. If you like. Get you nice and prepared. And why would I want to help someone who's killed a dear friend of mine? If you know me, Addy, you know that this was strictly business. Could give a shit if you knew her. She was a stranger on the street. I knew I could get information. I got it the only way I knew how. She didn't want to talk, I made her talk. And life and in death. It's all the same. So... My offer stands until I leave this bar. You can do a couple jobs for me. I can tell you when, where, our Donnie will be when she gets to Ulkas. That's a promise. I'm a man of my word. Fortunately. <laughs> what do you need? Well, we've got a uh, group of defects. Wanted to, uh, wanted to hit the sewer system. Went off with some, uh, some pretty high-level prize shit. <clears throat> some money, some plans, some, uh, schematics of some shit we need. Some shit we did not want to get away from us. But we didn't expect these cowards to just up and run off. They did. So, go to the sewers. Find him, kill him, and give me everything else that, uh, that they took from us. It's that simple. I'll even I'll give I'll even give you a cut. Give you some of the money. Where exactly did they enter the sewers? <sighs> Close to the castle ward. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty, pretty deep into the city. It'll probably take you a day or two to get there. But, uh... You're smart. 
you and your brother can get there. And the uh, the fiery one over there should probably <laughs> should help you out. And hey, are you getting are you are you getting soft, Stonebridge? Is that a kid? <laughs> All I see is another liability, another reason for you to comply. Get that? Easy way to get into the city. True. True enough. Excluding a poor lost child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stonebridge siblings, always the good guys. What can I say? Well. That's why you guys need me. We don't need you. We <clears> appreciate... It certainly makes your activities in Agnacourt easier to get past the council. Thank you for the sub, Dono. Much appreciated. <clears throat> now, we you know we have ways of getting in the city. We can get yeah. in underground. We can get in the sky. Addy, you are means to an end, my friend. Means to a fucking end. Like I didn't already know that. Again, uh. again 5%, a means to a fucking end. <laughs> All right, well, since she was close to you, I'll leave you with that. He gets up, leaving the bag with Calliope's head in it. I'll, uh, I'll meet you in the city two days. Give you more details when we get there. Kind of pats your shoulder. Have a nice drink, Addy. And uh, Vosk will walk out. Addy grabbed the bag and immediately just walked straight out of the bar. Okay. Somewhere out far, kind of away from the road and everything to bury Calliope. Okay, yeah. So, so you head toward the edge of the uh, the tavern district mm -hmm. uh, where you find a, a, a patch of land that, that's pretty untouched. And yeah, you... Uh, how long do you take? Just as long as you need. Yeah, as long as as long as long they need. To... Okay. Yep, so you take your time, Addy, and you uh, you bury your friend. Uh, make an investigation check as you're doing so. Okay, uh, it's 19. 19, okay. As you are burying Calliope, um, you notice as you set her into the, the grave that you have dug, uh, you notice something sticking out of her mouth. <clears throat> Piece of paper. Looks to be a note. Addy grabs that. And with that, we're going to take our first break. Bang! <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, for jumping in and watching so far. We hope you guys are enjoying uh, session one of <laughs> Intelligence Saves. Did you guys expect it to be this fun? <laughs> oh, my God. It's so dark and gritty already. You already killed characters you set up in the session zeros that, like, I did. almost never even met. I did. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. Dude, in my session zero, someone got sat on. Many people were sat on. Yeah. <laughs> our our parents were threatened yeah. with murder. My it's uh, kidnapped. I drew a schematic of a fuck machine to tell them to go <laughs> fuck themselves. Um, all right. With that. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot you were taking a drink, Alec. <laughs> Um, and on that note, we're gonna take uh, <laughs> let's go to break. We're gonna take a five minute break. Uh, go to the bathroom, refill up our waters, everything like that. So we're happy that you're staying with us, and we'll see you guys in a little bit. BRB. I'm sorry, guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye.
Hi, everybody. We're back. Aren't we having... (laughs) Tension. So much tension. Aren't we having so much fun? I I mean... The emotional levels of this session one was... hmm. I'm uncomfortable with the energy we created in the studio today. Yes. Yes, exactly. All right. So I'm quite comfortable with uh, being able to RP a scene of a small dragonborn girl getting to taste hot chocolate for the first time. I do love it. Yes. Yeah. So can we we'll, do that now? Can we have some happiness? I was going to say, we're going to hop over to, to Asher, Addy, or Asher, Edra, and Torch sitting at the table. Um, Idra kind of takes the glass, a uh, big mug of hot chocolate, and takes a sip. And just, he, she kind of turns her head. She wasn't expecting it to be like as hot as it was, even oh, oh, with the name. on your tongue. It, it, they do make it quite hot. Too bad he's uh, fired, Janossi. Otherwise, I'd have him blow some air on it and cool it down for you. She kind of just take. Thank, thank you for being so kind. I remember what it's like to be a scared kid. I'm not far off from it. It's been. It's been difficult the last week. I. I never thought I'd have to deal with that. No one ever does. But there is still kindness in this world. You, your sibling, and this one here has already proven that. <laughs> Just never pats, pats Torch on the shoulder. Oh, yes, okay. yes, good point, Torch. Good point. <laughs> we. The little kindnesses. That's what my father says. Always look for them. Always try and be them. He's a good man. He tried to teach us. My my mother used to teach me how to garden, and... Oh. Did you grow flowers or food? Both. I I Um, I I loved tending to food. I loved being able to to help take care of people. Yes. Um... And then we were getting ready to bring a shipment back uh, with food for for my father's shop. And and what happened happened. Idris, Idra, if if you're okay with it, would you be able to describe this woman to me? I want to make sure I can. Keep an eye out for her. The her hands kind of grasp the 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 mug of hot cocoa. It's, it's okay. You don't have to if you're not able. But no, I want to. She was a a tiefling. <clears throat> um, okay. I had a feeling. Purple skin and. Um, like a large a very big coat and she had guns okay uh does this ring any bells for uh, me uh this description sounds very much like Ardani okay and this was a week ago so this was before the the heist yes hmm Um, we were passing through Engo Court and um, just picking things up and on the way out of the city we were ransacked. I managed to run and I was on a caravan for a while until the people manning the cart found me and kicked me out about Ten miles back, so for a few days I've just been walking forward. Well, we'll take care of you now. We'll find your father's shop. Thank you. Don't worry. And I know the woman that did this. She is an enemy. So I will promise you this. Your mother's killer will come to justice by my hand, if it's possible. Hearing this, Torch is going to use the cantrip produce flame and just go like... And make a little flame appear at the tip of his finger. Go like pew, 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 
Did you just make fireworks with your fucking produce flame? Yeah, just like a little, like, you know, the Wait, are you that sober like enough to cast a spell? Yeah. I, I'm a fire elemental. It's like breathing to me. This is true. <laughs> Good point. Good point. So, Wait. yeah, uh, you you cast produce flame and just kind of... And, and this does make, this does make uh, Idra kind of giggle. I'll give you an inspiration die for that. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> now, drink your cocoa and let's eat up. And then let's get some good sleep. I feel like you probably need it. Yes, I am. Addy will be back soon. Thank you. And you guys, the music begins to pick up and, and you see this kind of uh, wandering bard, uh, this halfling man, kind of scraggly orange hair, wide array of freckles and kind of a, a messy tunic with a, a big leather vest, definitely oversized uh, with leather pants and boots. All right now, anybody want to see some fucking magic tricks? Eh? Anybody? Idra, did you want to see some magic? <laughs> it's just kind of looking. Not from him. Not from him? Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> Alright. Oh, come on. Nobody wants to see some fucking magic. Oh, you're all... Uh, how about... how? Does anybody want to gamble with me? Any sort of... <laughs> no, you're drunk. Grabs his arm. <laughs> yeah. No. Don't hey, gamble with drunks. You see the halfling looks, oh, come on, the man wants to gamble. Let's gamble. He just points at the hole in the floor. He drank three of, he drank two of those. I've had five. He's not able to gamble or give proper consent. Hey, how about this? Uh, he'll, he puts his hand on you, Torch, and casts Greater Restoration. <laughs> <laughs> Burn a spell slot so you'll get somebody to gamble with you. <laughs> you're, you're, you feel your, your drunken That's effect. It's like a second level slot. <laughs> Go away. All right, are you what feeling you feeling ready to gamble now? Over. What the hell, man? I was on my buzz. Where's my buzz? Well, do you want to gamble or do you want to drink? I'm not letting you do both. Uh, that, uh, why not? They're both fun. Because if you're drunk while well, gambling, you'll lose. <sighs> fair point, fair point. Who's gambling? What's going on? She's too young to get. How old is this? How old are you, child? <laughs> She's like, I'm 11. He wants to gamble and points at the other short one. Hello, Hamfast Falco here. I would love to gamble. <laughs> Hamfast Falco? Yeah, you heard me. Does he have a special attack? Uh, yes, <laughs> gamble. Oh, I All thought right. it was going to be barrel roll punch. Fuck you. All right, Hamfast. <laughs> Fuck what's, you! What's your game? Uh, whatever game you like. I have dice, I have cards, I have, uh... He kind of puts a knife on the table. A dexterity game, whatever you like. And he looks down at the, like the stain on the floor, like probably not the dexterity game. Cards, let's do cards. Cards, and mighty fun to me. Uh, I go ahead and pull out my deck of cards and put it on the table. Oh, your own deck of cards? How am I supposed to trust you're not cheating? How am I supposed to trust that you're not cheating? Fair fucking point. Fair fucking point. <laughs> Uh, uh, how about this? I have an idea. Put your deck next to mine. We'll let the fates decide. Hmm. I do like his this deck bursts into flames. Okay, so he, he slams his deck. What you can see, they are metal cards with engraved designs of different gods and goddesses on them. Slams them down. All right, there's my deck. Deck. Be <laughs> careful with the accent. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, we're thank going God, to let. Thank the... God, this is an eighteen plus stream. <laughs> <laughs> All there's right, my deck. <clears throat> now, I put before you: there is no greater innocence in this world than a child. Idra, which deck should we use? Idra kind of don't have to help them. Idra kind of takes her hands and just puts them over her eyes and points forward. Um. Pick a number between uh, 1 and 20. Uh, 16. 16? 11. Gold, bronze, silver, copper. My mother told me to pick the best dragon. <laughs> All right, rolled an 11. So she points toward um, the halfling's deck of cards. Toward Hamfast's uh, metal deck of cards. Fantastic. Well, Looks like the girl's chosen. All right. What kind of game do you want to play? 
Uh, well, I am a big fan of Three Dragon Ante. Three Dragon Ante? I haven't played that in a mighty long time. Man of culture, that I can appreciate. Of All course, right. the sibling who doesn't play cards is the one who's here. Correct. <laughs> All right, well, uh, what's your bet? Uh, I'll go ahead and reach into my uh, pocket and I'll pull out three gold pieces and I'll put them down the table. Three gold pieces? We've got the big player. I'll double that. He slaps down six. All right. Uh, and I'll pull out three to match it. All right. So, way we're going to do this, uh, we want to do, we're going to do 4d6. Whoever is closest to 21 wins. All righty. If you go over 21, you bust. Um, and I'll say, since you have an inspiration die, you can use it to reroll 1d6 if you choose. Okay. All right, he will go first. Four, 10, 12, 13. Uh, 13, modest hand. I'll shoot one more for luck. 12, 13, 14, 15, Ah, 19, now that is what I appreciate. All right, I'll call it there. Damn. <laughs> okay. Oh, are you scared? You don't want to lose your money, I see. So I got an 11 on the first roll, but mm -hmm. you said I could use my inspiration roll to re-roll? You can insp yeah, you can do that, and it's basically just 21, so you can roll until you feel like you want to call. Okay. As long as I don't go over. Right. If you go over 21, then... You right, I'm going to re-roll again, obviously, because... Uh, 12. Goddamn. Uh... One more time. Okay. Please, God. 20. Ha! Oh. Five, five, four, six. Keeping that. Yeah. He kind of looks. Oh. Well, the first round is yours. He hands you his six gold. All right. Let's do. Let's do another. Let's, this time. Uh, let's make it a little more interesting, right? I agree. Um, and from my back, I'm gonna put my javelin on the table. Oh. I want your deck. Now that is a, a hefty price, but it's something I'm willing to pay. All right, you go first. All right. Four. And I can roll four dice as many times as I want, as long as I don't go for 21. Is that right? No, so you can roll four dice. Okay. That's your starting number. And then, like, 21, you can pull cards to get as close as you can to 21. <clears throat> like, you can call, you can roll one additional d6. Okay. So I rolled a 12. Okay, so you can roll another additional d6 if you like. It's another six, so I'm at 18. 18, you wanna call or do you wanna, wanna do another one? I'm gonna do one more. Now, just to make sure I'm clear here, this dice, if I go over 21, I can burn that inspiration to re-roll it, correct? You can. All right, let's do it. That's five. Okay, I'm gonna burn that inspiration. <laughs> need like a two. I need like a two or three. And it's a one. I will take that. 19? Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, stay going. on 19. I yes. stay. Now that's gonna be tough to beat, but. Oh, goddamn. We'll see what we can do. I watch him like a hawk. Uh, I also would like to be watching him. Okay, give me investigation checks. So 6, 11. 15, 16. So he investigation or perception? Mm, we'll do investigations because you're, you're you're watching hard at, at his particular action. Uh, I got a 22 for my investigation. 22. 18 plus 4. 10. Okay. Um, for both <laughs> of you, just he, is, he is playing honestly. Oh, shit. He is playing honestly. So he's got a 16. He's like, well, might as well risk it. He pulls one more card. Uh... 22. He busts. Fuck yes! Ooh. He's like, you got his deck. Oh, shite. It's a deck of many things. Well, she's yours now. He hands over the deck. He takes your javelin of lightning. I mean, it's very cool. Wait, I thought it was a bet, not a trade. Oh, that's true. I was about to say. That's true. Stealing his shit? <laughs> uh, so, so well, if he'd have so traded it, he would have just traded it. So you get the deck. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. 
Oh God, there's been so this. The name of the show is int saving, intelligence saving. No, no, no. It's totally the item. It's he. He's a pact of the talisman. That's the talisman his patron gave him. Uh, I got an eighteen. Eighteen for my thirteen plus five for my wisdom saving throw. You passed, so you are not cursed. But <gasps> he failed on purpose. He totally failed on purpose. But if you choose to gamble with this deck again, you'll have to make another wisdom save. Okay. And if you fail, you are cursed, and we will go into that curse if that ever comes. But you have this deck, and they're beautiful, beautiful silver deck of cards with etchings of the different gods of this uh, of this realm, uh, with a with a nice ivory uh, display of art on the front. Uh, and he kind of looks at you, patches on the shoulder. All right, now we can drop the act. You did me more of a favor than I can ask, uh, and uh, thank you very much. Pats you on the shoulder. I'm gonna go. <laughs> he leave, he just leaves. <laughs> Shit. Why did you stop me? Looking Looking sober over. and able to consent. This is true. All I right. looked at it. Uh, <laughs> a little Yitra. This is all your fault. <laughs> she just, I pat, I she pat just, her on the head. She just kind of looks. <laughs> I, it's how not was your I, fault. How was I supposed it to know? It's not your you... fault. He's an idiot. Jesus. Told you. Uh, Gambling doesn't pay. At this point, Addy comes back in. And uh, you guys are there. Uh, you can see uh, the dwarven <clears throat> man that was with uh, was with Athen um, picking up. He's like... Um, hi, my name is Paddock. Uh, we're, cl we're closing up for the night, so I'm going to need you guys to go to your room. If uh, if that's all fine with you, I'm sorry, but we, we got to clean up and get ready for the morning. No problem at all. Um, Addy, whose hands are very dirty yeah, at this Covered point, in dirt, thinking. there's a bit of blood. Yeah. Um, and you have uh, the note in your pocket. Do, yeah. do we notice the state of her hands? Make a Make an investigation check. We 16? Find out what the note said? Not yet. Not yet. Addy hadn't read it yet. 17? Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, 16. You, or 16, yes. You can you can see dirt, blood. Um, That's cocked. Hands, their, their hands are filthy. Uh, uh, Tell me something having an investigation? interesting night. Investigation check. Uh, 14 for Asher. Yeah, you, you would notice the, the dirt and the grime on Addy's hands. Everything okay? Uh, Addy turns to... What was the name of the dwarven man again? Attic. 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 Um, is there any way that I could get a wash basin or a bath? Uh, yes, your room is uh, is done up with uh, with uh, the wonders, so uh, you'll, you'll have a big one in there. Thank you. Of course. Uh, Shall we go to bed, Idra? Are you full? Or would you like to bring your meal with you. You see Idris is kind of passing out, like, just kind of conking out at the table. She the kind full of, kid who's now Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, just kind of... Food coma. Chocolate. You know, quickly, <laughs> quickly wakes up. Uh, yeah, yeah the, the room sounds good. Um, thank what you. What kind of it's dragonborn is she? It's bedtime. Uh, she is a copper dragonborn. Fantastic. And so your guys' room, I'll ping it here, is over here. You guys got a suite with your monies. More money. So I'll ping it here. Oh, I see it. You uncovered it. Yes, yeah, so, I uncovered it. So it, um, I'm zoomed in, so I had to like scroll over. No, that's valid. Uh, I just gotta find a token. We'll just say that this red Abishai is. <laughs> our, oh God! Uh, oh my Lord! She's a demon! <laughs> demon! <laughs> demon! <laughs> um. At this point, par for the course. At this point, hey, let me <laughs> us, yeah. Uh, but she she goes straight to a room and and lays down in bed and just kind of uh, fairly quickly. You just hear <clears throat> like just just uh, she's conked. I yeah, I would assume that like Asher's just like Addy. Can you help her get comfy and maybe we'll see if we can get that dress cleaned. And I do. I do like holds up. I need to go wash my hands. The dress is already dirty, and 
no offense, but I'm not going to help a young lady prepare for bed. Uh, you, you, going to wash hands first. <laughs> do you? you can see Blood. that uh, Idra is, is already asleep, like yeah. tucked in. It, 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 it's uh, it's the point of like the parents having to like help the kid yeah, while yeah. they're asleep. Yeah, yeah. It's a rite of passage to fall asleep in dirty clothes. Just let her be. Um, Torch would like to summon Flicker. Does Flicker still have his hole in his chest? Okay, yeah, so Flicker kind of apparates on the table in your guys' room. Ah, the hole is still present. Well, that didn't work, son of a bitch. Uh, Flicker, I know you're probably not feeling your best right now, but I have a job for you. What is the job? There's a little girl in that room. I want you to watch over her. Let me know if anything uncouth occurs. Flicker kind of gets up to you. Are you growing soft? <laughs> I'll turn you back into a rat. Oh, understood. <laughs> <laughs> Flicker, you see Flicker kind of hop to the ground. Understood, understood. And just kind of, he, he walks Lactose in. intolerant, lactose intolerant. <laughs> he walks in and sits on the, the perch uh, in Idra's section of the like room right there and yeah and just watches actually um, i have i have an burp. app for that you have a burb token i do have a burb token it is a fire burb token yeah asher at this point is just going to be like sitting on the couch and waiting for addison yeah addy goes and gets cleaned up okay uh-huh. uh so we will stick with addy addy you run to the bathroom you are cleaning up the blood uh, and the dirt from your uh, your unfortunate burial of your friend Calliope. Um, you have the note in your pocket. Yeah. Uh, imagine. So Adi changes into their spare set of clothes. Um, and uh, takes the note out and starts to read it. Okay. Uh, you can see uh, on the front of it, it says, From Vosk. It reads, I'm sorry it had to be this way. Our Donnie killed your friend. She's got people watching me. I had to play it up. She killed her as soon as you guys left Ango Court. <clears throat> I was tasked with showing you what she had done. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything more. We'll meet in the city. We're gonna get this bitch. I promise. And that's the end of the note. Yeah, so Addie at this point just kind of like sits down in the bathroom and loses their composure, the tough older sibling composure Mm -hmm. of every of the last couple days of traveling and everything and has kind of a small breakdown. And then at the end kind of recomposes themselves and then walks out of the room. Okay. Addie, you're give me a give me a performance check for kind of trying to come out like kind of Um, uncoiffed and I'll say, give me an insight check with advantage, Asher. Okay, I will also say that Asher, since it's it's taking a bit, he has taken out his pistols, disassembled them, has them laid out on the table in front of him, and is, like, actively trying to distract himself by killing okay. them. Okay, yeah. And God. Addy would recognize this behavior as his, like, trying not to flip out yeah. the brain. <laughs> Torch, what are you doing at this point? Uh, while he is cleaning his guns, Torch has pulled out the dark charred book and mm. is has the silver deck that he won tonight and is casting identify as a ritual 16 insight how badly did you deceive me i i i got a 16 (gasps) as a performance oh fuck (laughs) dm who's between your wisdom score and your charisma score whose score is higher aren't we both plus threes my uh yeah i have a plus i have a 17 for my charisma so 16 but your modifiers for both respective scores are plus three 
Yep. Yeah. We're rock, paper, so scissors, and boys. Off the score. <laughs> rock, paper, I mean, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. <sighs> All right. So we'll do one, two, three, shoot on the count of three. One, two, three, go. One, two, three. Oh, fuck. What? God damn. <laughs> Stop counting so many times. Sorry. Okay. Nice. We'll do the count. Do it. Yes. Do it. Do it. <laughs> you okay. did the count. One, two, three, shoot. Right. <laughs> so, Asher, you notice that your sibling, uh, Boulder Paper Shears. I, I feel yes. like, I feel like he's used to seeing Addy always try and be strong for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Like, at, growing up, Addy was the strong one, and it's still like I don't know if anybody else has siblings, but like you get to that that young adulthood where it's like you still think you have to be that way, but you don't. Yeah, I feel like they're at that point, and he's just sitting at the table cleaning his guns and being obsessively meticulous and mm-hmm. just looks up. Sit down, Addy. And then, um, Torch, you said you were doing, uh, you had identify. the... Identify. Identify. Okay. Um, so, with your identify, you know that, uh, this book is of celestial, or this deck of cards is of celestial origin. Oh. It was crafted... By the goddess Ilustre, who is um, the moon weaver, at least in, in this idea of D&D canon, the daughter of Lulf, uh, who rose above the tyranny of her mother and became part of the, uh, the good aligned deities of Aosha. Um, she has many champions, the one of, of recent years, uh, Lester Lawson, who is responsible for uh, the... He is one of the Fate Touch who helped destroy Tiamat uh, 30 years prior. Um, But this was created when she was still a lesser deity. Uh, She would give this to teach lessons to those who... uh, who uh, were selfish and greedy. That's the third time this night this campaign has hit way too close to home. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but it, uh, you know that since you have passed the initial save, uh, the 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 uh, chance of the curse taking hold is is lessened. So right. it, it is now closer to just a very beautiful ornate set of cards. Break that curse and have some sick cards. Right. <laughs> um, but with that, okay. And then Asher and Addy, you're having this conversation. Addy, sit down. Addy sits. Okay. I can tell something's bothering you. You should know you don't have to hide that kind of thing from me anymore, but I know something and it's going to upset you more, so you go first. What's going on? Where'd you go? Uh, Calliope's dead. They killed her when we left. She was buying us time. Uh, Of course. Vosk was sent to deliver her head to me. I'm sorry, Eddie. They know where we are. I figured they did. I'm sorry. I I know you were close. I know I didn't know her well, but I'm still sorry. And, uh, Addie passes the note. Vosk had to put up a front in the tavern, but... Mm. That's... Is he trustworthy? Well, as trustworthy as a member of the Viper's Hand can be? Give me a history check, Addy. I was about to say, how good of friends are they? Uh, history, uh, that's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. Um, uh, you've worked with Vosk on a couple of jobs. Uh, he has always been forthright. Uh, for being in the Viper's Hand, he is very kind. Um, he's he's cruel when he needs to be um, to kind of put on airs for the organization. But what you saw was very odd. 
the way he was acting, how he kind of presented himself, uh, definitely seemed like he was putting on a show. Uh, so it, it's not hard for you to believe that um, he was putting on an act. Yeah. Okay. We can, we can trust him. Like I said, I had upsetting news. Idra told me what the woman looked like that killed her mother. They were passing through Anger Court, had just left and were attacked. The description fits Ardani. Before even the heist. What could she have needed for? They were bringing goods to Idris' father, from my understanding. If they're using the car to get into the city. That's that's my thought, is they would have stolen it to get into the city. Papers, I mean, even the Viper's Hand, you've told me that they don't have easy access. Yeah, but they can. When we get in tomorrow, first thing, I don't... You and Torch can do whatever you need to do. I'm finding her father. I want her safe, and then... If we see our Donnie, I am putting a round between her eyes. You do not kill someone's mother and get away with it. And I told her I would bring justice to her mother if I'm capable. And if I can't kill her myself, then I'm going to drag her before father and put her in chains. And I know you don't want me doing that, and I know you worry about me. But I'm not the little boy who fell out of the tree and broke his arm anymore. And I have ideas, things, tools that can help us, but they will not be easy to make or cheap. So for the time being, I think we help Torch, if you still I... want us. What? Sorry, focus. No, seriously, they are very deep in concentration. <laughs> <laughs> and we always joked about becoming adventurous. This Leaving wasn't home. what I had in mind. Oh, me neither. I always imagined us going and finding a dragon's hoard somewhere, with the dragon conveniently having fucked off. <laughs> but, uh... That's not how dragons work. We were twelve! <laughs> Well, mm -hmm. I was. They were 13. But I think home is not some place we can safely go until she's dead. That's true. And I don't think the world is exactly a safe place for us. Or anyone, as long as she lives. And it sounds like, even in your organization, she's not popular. She's not. But... She's got the power. Power or a following? Both. Matter of... People who fear her or fanatics? I, that laugh on the word fanatic was so perfect. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Elsa, question. Oh, does Twitch have any idea what these crazy people are talking about? Uh... You, you guys have said Viper's Hand, correct? No. Multiple times. Oh, have we? Uh, give have me, we said Viper's I've Hand? I've said it. I've said, said it at least it? twice. Give me a, give me a history check, check, Torch. Uh, 18 plus 4, 22. I made a smart D&D character for a, the first time. You made time. a smart boy. <laughs> you did. Um, so, you know the Viper's Hand to be a mercenary slash assassin slash thieves guild within the realm of Aosha. They are very active in the continent of Drukamesh. Um... You know that they were a, a helpful force in the the war against Tiamat. Uh, they helped the latest inter iteration of Fate Touched uh, bring peace to Aosha. Um, but since then, they've kind of fractured into many different facets. Uh, there are approximately ten pseudo leaders, or so they have so claimed themselves to be. Uh, they kind of tackled every different range of, of merc work 
Merc work. I love that. Merc uh, work. It's got a shirt of that. Just merc work. Yes. Merc work? Fucking A, What's dude. What's he doing? Doing merc work. Doing some merc work. Uh, so mercenary work, uh, thieves guild <laughs> stuff, and assassinations in some instances. Y'all, you guys are members of the Vipers and They what? are. I'm just a Not tinkerer. supposed to have gotten involved. I was following your example. <laughs> I learned oh. it from watching you. It was explicitly stated, don't get involved. Well, family <laughs> drama aside, it sounds like a sounds like we've got a interesting few days in front of us. Speaking of which, I do have a job. If we need money. Job. Yes. I think it'll help Voss help us get answers from the Viper's hand and put a little coin in our pockets to do the things that we need to do. Alright. What coin we have won't last forever, so. Work is work, but Torch, do you agree? First thing tomorrow, put the uh, girl in her father's arms. Yes, absolutely. No, no child should be without either of their parents. And then I need to do some work. It's yeah. an old. And then maybe in that work, since we're dealing with people that like to sell information, we might be able to find something about your uh, Earth Genosi friends. They're not friends. Never friends. Nope, 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 nope. You'll but, notice you know, I, 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 I am. 100%, 100% in agreement with uh, that approach. Let's turn in for the night, yes? Would yes. it be safe to set a watch? Oh, flicker's up. We'll let us know if anything happens. Well, he'll let me know, and I'll let you know. I, I'm going to be honest with you, and I apologize if this causes you all distress or trouble. <clears throat> I'm not very subtle. It's kind of the whole... I'm on well, fire literally kind of on thing. Fire, yes. yeah. I, I am a beacon in the night. <laughs> well, uh... Fine. Boulder, paper, shears to see who gets the big bed. Uh, uh, at, at this, Torch is going to take out his oil lamp, and he's going to say, toodles, and he's going to toodle into his lamp. What the oh fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you got, like, an oil lamp symbol of your... He can go in it. He can we could have saved money! <laughs> uh, I can only take myself into yeah. it. No, but we paid for four rooms! Oops. I'm gonna pick up the oil lamp, shake it a little bit, and go put it on his bed. <laughs> so you, you feel a little bit of uh, shaking <laughs> torch in your lamp, uh, and then you are set down. Uh, Alright, and everybody... I'm, I'm still gonna come back. Enjoy. And he's already walked off towards the big bed. Like, oh yeah, he, he's just like gonna come back, finish cleaning and like reassembling his guns and checking that they, they're working. And then, uh, he's gonna go lay down and not move. But I don't think he's he's sleeping. I think he's just not doing anything. All right. Okay. With that, you guys take to the night. You take your long rests, and we will find ourselves. In the morning, uh, you guys hear uh, you guys hear a knock on your door. Uh, so I need you all to make a um, uh, make a make a perception check. Oh, uh, twenty four. Twenty four. Twenty three. Nice. That is a... 15? 15, all right, yeah. All, all of you kind of sit up and you hear the... the <clears throat> on your door. Um, good morning! Um, Marguerite here. I just wanted to, to welcome you to uh, our little slice of paradise and uh, see if anybody needed any breakfast or anything like that. Uh, Asher is going to, like straightening the coat that he slept in okay. uh, come to the door and open it oh good morning Marguerite your your brother told us who you were yes um, my brother uh, you open the door to see this beautiful half elven woman uh, large curls of, of auburn orange hair 
uh, deep, so more half brother. Deep green eyes, uh, freckles. She's wearing a a lovely green kind of power suit. Uh, it's uh, a big mood. I will say with that description, Asher's like talking as he opens the door, and then is just dumbfounded, okay. silent, like. Oh. Marguerite kind of looks. Are you okay, darling? Um. Uh, <laughs> It literally shakes himself. Just, oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I, uh... <laughs> There's a loud... Nothing, nothing at all. He's, Addison like, so behind. awkward she kinda, immediately. Just, like, yes, um, not kinda, making eye contact, looking, like, down and away. Uh, yes, we, we'd love... Uh, <laughs> all, all four of us would love breakfast. Uh, she kind of leans on the dining the, room. She kind of leans on the door. Not used to little Kesson girls, are you? <laughs> and he walks up at this point, literally grabs Asher like like by just the face, pushes, like, pushes me, just <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, uh, "Thank you, uh, my it, my sibling, Addy." Uh, <laughs> His uh, face El- is so red. In Elvish, uh, Torch will ask for uh, a traditional Elven breakfast of leafy greens and mm. nutritious berries. In Elven, Marguerite will respond, that I can do. Uh, Asher, out of full view, just goes, in Elven as well, because he's following the standard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, eggs for me, and uh, maybe porridge with berries for the young one? I can is Idra that. up, or is she still sleeping? She's still sleeping. I yeah, figured, she's the, very tired. Yeah, uh, and then for you, Eddie. Also continuing the order in Elvish, because it's just like, hi. <laughs> we love those that are cultured. Truly. Uh, I didn't request just a standard, you know, eggs, bacon, toast. Okay. Like. Yeah. And looks back and goes, anything else, brother? In Dwarvish, he's just, um, like, grumbling at himself. Nope, nothing, nothing. In Dwarvish back, Marguerite... Are you sure, Dom? <laughs> He's gonna walk into his bedroom just Thank you! Thank you! Um, his Addie face is as bright as Torch's grin. hair. Uh, Marguerite looks at you, Addie. There's nothing better than making men uncomfortable. I will get your breakfast here. That one. No, not at all. He he seems He's a nerd who he seems seems lab all the time. He seems sweet. Um I'll bring your breakfast here within the hour. Thank you. Damn it, now Alec's gonna kill her. <laughs> Come on. I, no, I am, I, am, I am not one. I am not one to fridge. Um, all right, so you guys are in the room. Uh, anything you want to do this morning? Uh, Your breakfast comes within like a half an hour. You guys eat, yeah. kind of make that all, make that I, all I happen. I wake up Idra and like get her to eat and then, yeah. you know, have Addy like Oh, here's a nice hot bath for you. She does have yeah. a bag. You can see that she, you know, she she's takes care of herself in that sense, um, and kind of looks. My father's fairly close to the to the city walls. Um, Good. That's our first stop once we're inside. Thank you again. Um, Addie, you can see she's kind of scarfing down food. Yeah, Addie pauses. If you have you. Do you have a change of clothes? Yeah, yes. Um, she pulls out. Uh, she pulls out kind of like rough clothes. Uh, they look like boys' clothes. This is what I could get, but it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. No, I don't. Addison and Asher just give each other a look. Like, yeah, we know that. <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, if you notice, Addie's gone, and you guys will have noticed that the finer clothes. They're a little bit more feminine cut, but still kind of androgynous. Yeah. Uh, than the androgynous armor that they were wearing earlier. Sure, and sure. uh she and they hold out their hands going, If you want to give me your dirty things, I'm going to go clean my things as well. Uh Isra hands it to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to D D where we role play laundry. <laughs> um Torch, I need you to make an intelligence save. Is this the first intelligence save of the campaign? It's the first intelligence save of intelligence save of the campaign, yes. Oh my yes. god! The, the inception of the intelligence save with an intelligence save. <laughs> Meta. Uh, 17. 17. Okay. Uh, you see as Flicker is looking at you, um, 
he begins to speak and it's just sort of like I think everything will make and then his eyes flash over black as black as the void that is in his chest <clears throat> you must be Shazos the gentle at least the the sun is that true is who is asking <laughs> a friend i suppose <laughs> well fortunately you don't know my father that well he doesn't have friends oh no 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 a friend of your mother's Wing. we uh we go back and you know she's been taken I do. I, um... I've made a bargain with many different deities to have eyes on many people. You're in Ukes now, but when you make it to... Well, whoop. Oh no, I don't know where I live. One second. The night stream is brought in part to you by the generous donations and contributions from viewers like you. <laughs> <laughs> if you make it to Orasia, search me out. <clears throat> I may have some information to offer. Your mother is a wonderful woman and they don't plan to do wonderful things to her. Uh, my name is Ducalian Stein. E U. Uh, yeah, one second. Uh, that is uh, D E U C A L I O N, and then S T E I N. I built your brother, Sinanju. <laughs> <laughs> And my uh, cousin, and Sasabi. Sasabi. <laughs> uh, and then, where is this o Orcrest? Uh, no, this is uh, Oromir. Or, uh, here. Or, and I'm or, looking or, at or a, or a seer, excuse me. O oh, R A S I R. So that is between, that is like right smack dab in the middle of the map. Where are we right now? You are in Ulkas. Which is so, like straight to the left. Yes, is uh, so you you are the on the uh, the eastern coast. Gotcha. Of so Dragash. we have to go to the center of the continent. I got gotcha. you. Right. Okay. Cool. 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 Um. So if I, you ch so choose, I can I can provide some sort of help. Uh, by any <clears throat> chance, could you uh, not have a hole in my bird? That is not my doing. I just know. took advantage of a, a weakness of it. Do you know who's doing it? It's hard to tell, but it's something powerful. Celestial in nature, I believe. Fantastic. But um, good luck, Mr. Torch. Thank you. You see Flicker goes back to... Ah, bullshit! Bullshit! Fair. Fair assessment. <laughs> Alright, so, breakfast is had. You guys are all changed. What do you guys want to do? So we try to enter the city again. Tally-ho. Everything we need to do is in the city. Let's go get our carriage. Okay. Wagon. It's a wagon. It's We're not a wagon. that nice. It is a uh -oh. wagon. But Session Zero, you said it was a carriage. It is a carriage. It, it is, is a carriage. carriage. It's a shitty carriage. <laughs> it's a nice carriage. <laughs> <laughs> We're rich. We know what nice ones look like. Yours is not yes. that nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even the hey. one we were driving wasn't that nice. <laughs> if you have anything to say about my carriage, you can feel free not to use it and walk. 
<laughs> I'm saying this out of character. <laughs> Alex just staring at all of us like he's disappointed. I'm like, this <laughs> This makes sense. I asked for this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... Uh, we told you we're nobles and we know when to act like it. Oh, 100%. Uh, so you guys... <laughs> Load up the cart. Uh, it is ready to go. Um, you see um, Marguerite come out. Oh, leaving so soon. Uh, he is going to just we, not look at her. Thank you for the it's hydrate just... pie. Thanks. My hot chalky's gone. You chalky. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Keep those organs in working order. Yes, sir. Um, um, but Marguerite, well, you're welcome back at any time. I like, uh, you seem like a good bunch. Uh, Torch is going to walk over to Marguerite and just, like, lean in very, like, quietly under his breath. I know he seems a little strange, but Asher's really a nice guy, and he really likes you. He just doesn't know how to express it. She'll, and then she'll, I'm, she'll lean back. Can I see if I hear this? She'll lean back into your torch. I do think he's quite handsome. Fuckers. Make a perception check. Oh. If he hears it, all that's going to happen is his face is going to turn right. Are, are you ready to role play romance with me, shop? I can role play romance. Hell yeah. So that's a 21. Yo, you hear it. You hear it. <laughs> Does um, Addy, I want to know if Addy hears it. I mean, I'm imagining I'm Addy hears it. it and is just staring at Asher oh, yeah. as his head turns that into a That is a, a natural tomato. 20. Yes, yeah, so you, you hear it. And as you hear it, you see the kind of glint in Marguerite's eye as she kind of just looks towards your brother. <laughs> Full red face. Like, he takes out his little note. Like, uh, actually, no, that was something I wanted to do while we were here because there's traitors here, right? Yeah, there are traitors here. Uh, how much would it be for him to get a, like, good-sized, leather-bound traveling journal that he can sketch in? Um, let's say uh, that would probably run you, like, maybe five silver. Like, nothing crazy. Okay, yeah, then he's definitely going to get one of those. He has now taken it out and is, like, just madly scribbling and holding it in front of his face okay. so nobody can see him. Addy, um, Addy takes a half step behind Asher and, and goes with their shoulder <clears throat> and like leans into him and goes, yes, brother, wouldn't it be great to come here again and spend some time? Uh, can I just fail that deck save to fall flat on my face? You can choose to fail it if you want. I will gladly choose to fail and just like, eh, crash. So you fall over. But, ah, but, sounds great. But before you hit the <laughs> ground... You see Marguerite slide and kind of grab the back of your, your neck before you hit the ground. <laughs> She's hot and capable! And she leans in. Darling, you need to be better on your feet. And kind of picks you up. <laughs> he is visibly red-faced and flustered. And just kind of like dusts himself off and stuck, sticks his arm under and like is checking all of his pockets. It's like, She's... this is a person who has dealt with... with... I don't Thieves deal. guild nonsense. Yeah. And, and. I'm a noble bandits, from a major city. <laughs> noble from a major city, red faced at talking to a girl. <laughs> yeah, you, you, can, you can tell she's capable. Um, she, at this point, her suit is. She's not wearing the suit right now. Uh, she is wearing uh, what is more significantly adventurer's gear. She has a rapier at her side, uh, leather, uh, leather laced pants uh, with high armored boots. Uh, she's wearing a, a deep V'd leather set of armor, uh, and her hair is uh, kind of braided over the side. I'll be heading into the city, so I'm sure I will see you all around. But I um, wanted to see you off and uh, get another look at Miss uh, Stonebridge here. Well, We never told her our oh, last names. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Uh, get another look at Mr. Asher here. Yeah. Well, so, I will uh, see you in I the city. I hope to see you too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And so coming out. The uh, moment I, she's out of view, Mark, he is yeah. just whipping around. Just why, Asher? I'm the Afrit. That's my excuse for being this red. <laughs> <laughs> I will drown you in a puddle. Better than I've tried. And then I'll just pat him on the head and walk out. 
<laughs> so you guys, uh, torch leaves. I assume you're just getting the cart ready. Yep. Okay. Yep. You're setting up the cart, uh, packing everything up. Addie, Asher, you guys are lingering with Idra, and Idra says, "I, I, I will think say... she likes you." <laughs> no, I, I think you're right. Uh, I will say in my notes document because I have Marguerite Westway's half elf, and then like where she owns, and then it just says in all caps with like four exclamation points, hot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, he's hot! <laughs> oh no, she's hot! Um, <laughs> ah, I see you used the map system I suggested. Yes. Such a good map Addie, generator. Yes, it Addie's is. Addie's got a shit eating grin, keeping an eye on Asher. Like, oh, like Ash. You, you've never seen him react that way before. He's always, like, quiet and hides from people and never, like. He's not the person that's, like, is like, oh, they're hot. He didn't go to parties unless Mother forced him. Torch's unofficial side quest. Matchmake everyone. <laughs> Including Torch. No, no, Gotta no, find I'm you a nice Earth Genasi girl to balance you out. I'm going to burn <laughs> to the ground. <clears throat> Water right. Genasi. <laughs> so, uh, you guys... Air Genasi, the light has flamed. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> well, va, va, they say about oxygen and fire. Oh, va va voom. You guys get in the cart with Idra. And uh, relationship oof, right? So you guys head into <laughs> um, the cart and you get into the line as you guys ride into Ulkes proper. <sighs> so um, uh, as you guys are riding in, um, you guys see a bustling collection of cobblestone streets with brick inlaid metal worked buildings. You see craftsman shops. You see uh, uh, a cult shop. You see every shop you could imagine. Uh, a fresh food store where you see a copper dragonborn. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, does, we're coming in that front gate and does Idra direct us? Yes. And Idra looks, there he is. There he is. Um, yeah, so Asher will kind of hop down. Stay right here. Let's surprise him. Okay. Um, and he's going to walk over to the... You uh, said it was, was it a stall or a store? It, it is a is a, a whole storefront. Um, you see a, a, a big stone building uh, with fresh uh, uh, poultry, fresh meat, fresh vegetables, fresh fruits. Um, and you see this copper uh, dragonborn man. Uh, very large, very muscular. He looks older, so the skin is beginning to sag a little bit. Um, but he is setting up shop here. Uh, he looks hey, stressed, any but business must be visible continue. name on the shop uh, signage. Give me an investigation check. Also, have we thought about how we're going to disclose the fact that his wife? Thirteen. And uh, I'm handling it. Murdered. I'm handling it. Uh, you <laughs> see, it. Uh, you see Riley's <clears throat> Fresh Depot. Riley is spelled R H Y L I. Um, yeah, so Asher's just gonna kind of walk up. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, um, yes. Are you, are you Mr. Well? Is it Wellis? W-E-L-L-I-S? Yeah, Wellis. Hey, I spelled it right. Are you Mr. Wellis? Um, yes, this is my establishment. How can I help you? Um, I have unfortunate and good news for you, sir. Is this Idra? Uh, Addison is, your, Asher's gonna wave at Addison and just like, we got a stretch from geeks. Thank you, geeks. Thank oh, you, geeks. <laughs> ah. um, but he's going to wave at Addison to, like, bring Idra over. Yeah, Addison she, will help Idra. She found down us at the, the gates park. yesterday after they'd closed, and, uh, well, we, we wanted to get her back to you. Uh, Ooh, she's been fed. And a hydrate. Uh, my sibling made sure that she took a bath. Um, all that, but I have. <laughs> I don't know if word had reached you of your wife. I, I heard, unfortunately, but she, it her safe. Yes. Um, apparently, she ended up walking the last couple of days, uh, but she's. Where is she oh, still? Girl. Addie walks out with Idra. Uh, um, you see, 
the cabbage and other vegetables that were in his hands drop as he runs and just scoops up his little girl. And Can I roll to catch them? No, he just he grabs her and just drops to his knees and just immediately just begins to bawl. Oh God, you're safe. You're safe. Thank you, God. Thank you, Pedal. Thank you, Lord. And he's 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 holding her so tight, and, and you hear her just lose it. And Father, I tried. I'm sorry. I couldn't. And he's like, No, 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 please. I'm so glad you're safe. And it's just holding her, and he looks up. It stands up. He's still holding her. Uh, he grabs your shoulder. Thank you. Thank you. It's as our parents taught us, sir. Take care of her, and... How, how can I repay you? Take care of her. Mm hmm I... And he's gonna kind of lean in to try and make sure Idra doesn't hear him mm -hmm. for the next bit. Yeah. I know who did this. We will bring justice upon them, one way or another. He looks to you, the sadness quickly turning to rage. Thank you. And Asher's just gonna nod and then kinda do the, the like come along head jog mm -hmm. to Addy and head back to the cart. You guys see as um, Riley takes Idra inside, he flips the sign to closed, shuts the door, and um, you guys have reunited Idra with her father. Why do I feel like Torch has a tear as he's just sitting on the cart? Carriage. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I, just, I don't know why. I feel like that would have hit Torch, and there's just like this little flaming dot. Up to torch. Buying molten like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like uh like a burning alcohol. Right. <laughs> Actually it would probably just be like steam, like pss, 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 pss. So <laughs> it's just steam coming from your eyes. What's that? Are you angry? Yeah, this is a furious. <laughs> so furious of my feelings. With the party having oh. given Idra back to her father. With goals in mind, they've arrived to the capital city of Ulkas. That is where we're going to end session one of Intelligence Safe. <laughs> I love Man. it. Thank you everybody for jumping on and joining. Um, we're gonna do a raid. Uh, I don't know how to do that, so if somebody could help me. Uh, uh, so are you in your stream manager yeah. dashboard? I've, I've got OBS up right now. No, 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 in Twitch. You can do it oh. in Twitch. Um, uh, you can do it with a chat command forward slash raid space and then the, the username of who you want to raid. Do we want to attack the welcome in? I think that's what I'm thinking. Send some people to go watch more D&D. &D. Hell yeah, man. Okay, so, all right, how do I do this now? Oh, raid channel. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's why I was asking if you had the stream thing. The welcome up. in. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much. Catch us next, uh, uh, next Sunday for episode two of Intelligence Save. Um, and yeah, keep keep up to date with uh, uh, our socials so you can see when we when we stream, we play Pokemon, we world build, all kind of things like that. We hit 80, we broke 80 followers. Uh, so we're a lot closer to our goal than we were before. Uh, so we very much appreciate that. And uh, yeah, go send the people over at the Welcome and Some Love. We'll shoot you over there shortly and We'll see you guys in the next adventure. But before Ooh. we do this, we have to come up with what we're gonna like. What do we say? Like, do we want to say everyone make an intelligence save? Commune DM is rating. Mm. Yeah. I was just gonna use this hype emote. Oh yeah, let's just yeah. let's just do uh, okay. Let's do the hype emote. All right, guys, we love you. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for episode one. We'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Hit the bye, everyone. <laughs>